Welcome to your word for the day, New Year's Day. Happy New Year's, everyone. And um, let's start with a little short prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time. We're going to be in your word, Lord. Let the word for today penetrate our hearts, Lord, transform our lives, and then that we glean from your um, word for today. We thank you and we praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It starts out from the beginning to the very end of the year. And the scripture reading is Deuteronomy 11, 12, New King James Version, and it's for January 1st. Word for the new year, number one. As you enter the new year, read the scripture and stand on it. The land which you go to is not like the land from which you have come. The land which you cross over to possess, or possess, possess is a land of hills and valley, which drinks water from the rain of heaven. The land for which the Lord your God cares. The eyes of the Lord are always on it from the beginning to the very end of the year. Verses 10 through 12, New King James Version. For the next few days, let's break this scripture down. The land which you go to possess is not like the land of Egypt from which you have come. Egypt was a place of stress sorrow and struggle but canaan was the place of god-given success self-worth and spiritual growth in other words this year doesn't have to be like the last year for you why because the lord god cares amen jeremiah says i still dare to hope when i remember this the faithful love of the lord never ends his mercy never ceases. Great is his faithfulness. His mercy begins afresh each morning. Amen. I say to myself, the Lord is my inheritance. Therefore, I will hope in him. The Lord is good to those who depend on him, to those who search for him. Uh, Leviticus 3, 21 to 25. David said, his anger lasts only a moment, but his favor lasts a lifetime. Weeping may last through the night, but joy comes with the morning. Psalms 35, a New Living Translation. You don't have to dread what lies ahead. This year, you can experience God's love, mercy, faithfulness, and goodness and favor in your life. And that's... Uh, what the future holds is experience God's love, mercy, faithful goodness, and favor in your life this year. So put that on the top of your list. And uh, we'll thank you for this uh, day's reading.